Letter thirty eight of Letters from England, eighteen forty six to eighteen forty nine, by Elizabeth Davis Bancroft. Read for LibriVox.org into the public domain. Letter to T. D. London, August ninth, eighteen forty eight. My dear brother, on Saturday we set off for Nunham, the magnificent seat of the late Archbishop of York, now in possession of his eldest son, Mr. Granville Harcourt. The other guests besides ourselves were Sir Robert and Lady Peel, Lord and Lady Villiers, Lord and Lady Norris, Lord Harry Vane, etc. We considered it a great privilege to be staying in the same house with Sir Robert Peel, and I had also the pleasure of sitting by him at dinner all the three days we were there. He was full of conversation of the best kind. Mr. Dennison and Lady Charlotte, his wife, were also of the party. She was the daughter of the Duke of Portland and sister of Lord George Bentinck, Sir Robert's great antagonist in the house. On Sunday morning we attended the pretty little church on the estate, which, with its parsonage, is a pleasing object on the grounds. The next day the whole party were taken to Blenheim, the seat of the famous Duke of Marlborough, built at the expense of the country. The grounds are exquisite, but I was most charmed by the collection of pictures. Here were the finest Van Dykes, Rubens, and Sir Joshua Reynolds, which I have ever seen. Sir Robert Peel is a great connoisseur in art, and seemed highly to enjoy them. Altogether it was a truly delightful day, the drive of fifteen miles in open carriages, and through Oxford, being of itself a high pleasure. Yesterday we returned to London, and on Thursday we set out for Scotland. End of letter 38 Read by Sibella Denton. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, please visit LibriVox.org.